Tonight, tears and a denial from the man who's charged tonight with killing his wife. Police say that Andrew McCormick strangled his wife, attacked her with a knife, killing her in their Revere home. But as WBZ's Christina Hager reports from court, McCormick says the killer is still out there. Mr. McCormick lived in a single family house in Revere with his wife Vanessa. He mouthed my baby and strained to see the baby carriage in Chelsea Court with his murdered wife's family. Our belief is that the baby was in the house at the time of the murder. Andrew McCormick accused of killing the second grade teacher Saturday in their Revere home. She had both slash and stab wounds on her neck. She had signs of both manual strangulation and as suffocation. The latter possibly from a trash bag that appeared to have been put on her head at some point. The criminal complaint filed in court here shows the last phone call Vanessa McCormick made with her cell phone went out at 8.35 in the morning to her husband the day of the murder. Then a text went out a little more than an hour later and then the papers show a flurry of missed calls and unanswered texts from her family for the rest of the day. Prosecutors say a cocaine dealer told them Andrew McCormick had a $400 to $500 a week drug habit, that he bought $100 worth the day of the murder. Texts from his wife last month say, I hate you so much. Also, that she'd looked into divorce lawyers. He was visibly emotional at the murder scene. Prosecutors say the house smelled like bleach and he had a skin rash. The bathroom across the hall had been scrubbed spotless. But as McCormick appeared to sob... He's been crying since he was arrested. His defense attorney called the case circumstantial, urging the public to reserve judgment. In Chelsea, Christina Hager, WBZ News.